I'm Ryan Shadle from uh, Omaha, Nebraska, and uh, my connection to colorectal cancer is through my father, who was diagnosed in 2016. He um, was very young when he was diagnosed, and I think one of his big things was continuing to kind of advocate for, for screening, especially at younger ages. And I know recently we just passed uh, a younger age for screening at 45, which would have been great because it probably would have helped him out a lot more. But I, I think for him, just continuing that, that legacy of um, saying, you know, these are important things that this shouldn't go without uh, the attention and just making sure that we can, uh, you know, get the, get the name out there and build up the, the support for it because he, he was passionate about this organization and what they did. I just want to, you know, continue to, to show that passion that he had. And that's why I'm such a, I think, a big advocate for screening. I think people just don't know enough about it and they need to, to, do, to learn more. And I think that's what he always told me was, you know, we got to get the word out there about screening. Wanting to continue to fight on his behalf and just... I wish I had more time with my dad. Even though he, he passed back in February, I don't think that's where his, his story ends. I think he has um, so much uh, potential to kind of bring awareness to early onset cancer, especially the advocacy side. He he loved events like Call on Congress. He, he liked the opportunity to to make people aware of what, what he was going through um, and his personal battles. I mean, he, he enjoyed telling his story, although he was quiet. I mean, never once in his uh, battle did he ever like say, why me? Like, you know, all that stuff. He just continued to show, you know, strength and courage and did what he could to, to make sure that he could continue to advocate on um, his behalf, but also other people's behalf. I mean, he, he did his, his best to continue doing that. And I think for me, it was just wanting to, to continue that and say, okay, what, what can I do that, you know, builds upon what he's done? I think just the opportunity to, to say, okay, this is a cancer that's gone um, unnoticed, but it's still one of the, the top killers out there, and it, it took my own father's life. Um, it, it ripped it out of him earlier than I could have ever imagined, and I, I wish I could have him back every day, but I, I figure now the best thing I can do is, you know, bring attention to it, advocate for people to get screens, and make sure that, you know, people are, are doing their part and uh, getting screened as early as they can. Um, I know I've had a couple of neighbors and friends that have said, you know, due to your posts and things out there, I, I've taken the chance to get screened and I think about your dad every day and that's kind of what keeps me going and uh, drives me every day.